And do you, uh, what can you tell us about additions to the cast uh, for second season as far as philosophically? Or? Uh, yeah, we're going to be, uh, because we're in a new place, we're going to be adding um, uh, some, some new cast. We're going to be seeing some different types of people. And uh, two roles I know we're going to be uh, uh, adding. Um, we don't have any casting news yet, unfortunately, but we're going to be adding a, a new member to our CDC team. Um, who will be a really interesting uh, addition, I think. And then also we're, we're adding kind of a new, um, very complex and, and interesting character uh, in, the, in the Dr. Ataki mold, um, which I don't want to say too much about, but uh, we're looking forward to that. That's great. And then um, for the cast members, uh, as you think about uh, your characters, I'm wondering if... Um, any of you do, you, do you all like your characters? Is there anything, what do you like about your character as a person? Or is there anything that you find very distressing about them? All of the above. I, I, I like my character. I don't think it's wise to sleep with your husband's brother. I don't no, see a problem with that. Yeah. It's frowned upon. It's frowned upon. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I think she's a great character. I, I like all of her flaws too, but... Um, She's uh, well-rounded, and she goes to extremes, and so it's fun. Yeah, but, very yeah. capable. Yeah. Um, I, like, I like that Sergio wasn't just an obvious bad guy. He wasn't, um, he, he has some layers to him. He has some depth. He has humanity inside him, humility once in a while. Um, and just the ability to play that throughout the whole 13 days and see the transformation, um, that, that, was, that was fun and exciting. And I do, I like my character. I mean, obviously, there are things I don't like about him. Um, and just like everybody has something about them that they don't like inside that they want to change. And I think that was a nice struggle to see, to see Sergio dealing with his own inner turmoil and his own battles. He stabbed a guy. It's not friendly. Stabbed, I stabbed a guy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not and I put an air bubble in her brain. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. That's what I had to do. I was paid to do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy playing Dr. Sarah Jordan. Um, it's, uh, it's really an honor to play such a multi-dimensional, strong, young female character. It's so rare for young actresses yeah. to get a chance to play a role like that. So um, I love it. And I love, you know, it's two very strong, intelligent female characters. Um, so I think I'm very grateful for the writers for doing that for us. Um, yeah, and I mean, just like Julia, you know, she has her flaws as well. Not a good idea to sleep with your boss. <laughs> you could get pregnant. Um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> short list. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, but no, she's great, and she's incredibly ambitious, and um, she's really fun to play. Wait, I also slept with my boss. We're talking about the We're show. We're all doing this on this show. We're all sleeping thing. with our bosses. No, me, I, I, like, never, I never slept with my boss. With Sutton. I'm talking about Sutton. <laughs> I'm talking about Sutton. She was, a, she was my boss. Why is, <laughs> what's that theme that's going on here? It stops here. I didn't sleep with anybody's boss. <laughs> Unless... <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, um, what was what were we talking about? What uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to hang with your character? Is he like a guy you, you, I, you can uh, hang with? I I I fell in love with Peter. I I can't. Uh, I don't think I can approach a character without absolutely falling in love with the character, um, and that comes al uh, along with a lot of uh, a lot of the baggage. He's you know a deeply conflicted guy, um, and I had a lot of time to think about it. Well, I was, you know, strapped to a gurney. Um, but the, the, the humanity and the love within, within the, uh, the monster that he turned into was um, something I, I really need to keep my thumb on uh, for, for season one, uh, just to keep that all underneath the monster, keep the man kind of behind the monster. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's coming for season two for him. I was asked in some interviews earlier, you know, if... Peter's the new villain, and uh, the idea of that, again, Mark just kind of alluded to it, that it's, it's not black and white, right? We're all, villains are the heroes of their own stories, and I think we have to keep, um, keep loving our character no matter what uh, acts they do. There are parts of my own psyche and my own personality that I'm not too keen on, you know, but I, I still have a good amount of love for myself, and I think it's an important thing 
to, to kind of know uh, all the things that make up me. And it's the same thing in building a character. I have to know and love all the things that make up that character. Nice.